Can anybody hear me? Woo! It was hectic to get this meal. <clears throat> wow. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back, you guys. Welcome if this is your first time here. I'm going to get straight into this because I've waited nearly 30 minutes outside of this Chipotle to get my food. Because um, whatever system they got going on about dispersing the orders is not working. I'm going to get into the ranting in just a bit. And don't come for me. Okay, let me just rant. Yes, you know, I'm blessed that I can eat. Relax, okay? Just, shh. I'm blessed, okay? I'm happy that I can eat, yes. So don't come for me. For those of you who just want to nitpick at everything I say, shh, zip it, okay? I'm going to give grace and then I'm going to get to ranting. And if you don't like the ranting, bye bye, okay? Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I'd like to thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. I pray that it be of good nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Okay, Sanitize. I got the coldest water here as well, but I got a free drink, so I'm going to just sip on that. Don't forget to use code Lizla at checkout for free or for 10% off, sorry. I'm just, like, all discombobulated because, you know what? Oh, my gosh. It was a hot mess up in Chipotle. First of all, I placed my order on the on the, um, on the the app because you can't go in there and order because they have it blocked off and only... DoorDash and app purchases are allowed. So I was like, all right, well, I'll order mine online because I'm hungry. I just ate breakfast and I'm starving. It's near 7 p.m., okay? And I'm losing my mind because I'm starving. And I waited more than 30 minutes for this. <laughs> Unacceptable. So I park, I place my order, I go back over there and I wait. And I hope they put me this order right. Let me put some of this vinaigrette. If you guys haven't tried the vinaigrette with this, you guys are missing out. So, I do that. I wait. Every, you know, it's the little patio section is getting packed with people. And everybody is like, like what the heck's going on here, you know? Um, oh. Nobody really knows what's going on. So this girl has a... The girl that's giving out the food has a major attitude. <clears throat> like, big time, right? She's not being clear to the instruction. People are like, um, do I give you my name? Like, is my order ready? She's not going in any particular order. People that were there after me left before me, got their food before me, and I was like, hello, are you guys going to work on my order, what's really going on, <clears throat> so, people that keep coming after me, are leaving before me, and I'm like, do you have my order, like, I've been standing here, you know, and she's like, dogging everybody out, I mean, everybody that gives them her a name, She's, like, rolling her eyes, and she's not saying nothing. She's not even letting them finish their sentence. She's just, like, walking away. I'm just like, wow. <clears throat> her attitude was so bad, everybody noticed, you know? Um, there's a crowd of people waiting for their order in the patio. And she's giving absolutely everybody an attitude. I'm just like, Whoa. She needs to change her attitude. That's what she needs to do. Because at this point, I'm already annoyed. I know she's annoyed. Because they're busy. I get it. But. Maybe they should put somebody. With a better attitude. Handling the orders. And giving the orders to their clients. Because that's unacceptable. There's no reason why somebody in the fast food business should give you an attitude for no reason. I'm, I get you're probably having a bad day. I do. Everybody has their bad days. 
but please fake it until everybody leaves at least because <clears throat> that really leaves a bad taste in people's mouth literally and sometimes you know people are spending their money on your food your food is not cheap I don't some people will lose their appetite literally but I am too hungry to lose my appetite because I've been waiting and waiting for this food did my lunch and my dinner Had I not been so hungry, I would have took off. Or said, yo, let me just have my money back. And so, I'm just like, wow. <clears throat> they need to fix that, like, ASAP. And like, two people working, making their orders. And then that girl running back and forth from the door to give people their orders. But she's not having it. Somebody needs to somebody needs to fix that. Somebody's gonna call. I know it. There's always that one person <clears throat> that will call corporate and that will call the store manager to complain. And that's that that's reason to complain because she was being so rude to everybody. Look, oh, here's so much people, more people that got their food. <laughs> they didn't wait there that long. They came shortly after I did, but they didn't wait as long as I did. I think I was the only one that was there for the longest. They were a group of people. I didn't order that much food. Just a bowl, some chips and queso. And I got a free drink. Look, she's like, you ordered a drink, right? And I was like, yeah. But the drink that I ordered is on the receipt. So she's like, what do you want for your drink? And I was like, I was going to be smart. I mean, like, if you would look at the order, you would see what I ordered. Mishlo, I love you! And, um, because I had ordered, like, a fruit. I don't know what I ordered, honestly. It just sounded good. <laughs> I love you, mama. It just sounded good. Um, it was, like, not what they have in the the soda fountain drinks, it was the ones that they had like the agua frescas and stuff and that's what I had ordered but since I didn't want to go back in the app and look at the name I was just like, give me a coke <laughs> Chipotle is my life girl, for real I haven't had Chipotle in a minute and I was hella craving it got some queso you know On my last live, one of my last lives, when I had Del Taco, I probably said that Del Taco's queso was better than Chipotle's. And now that I'm trying this again, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Don't get me wrong, Del Taco's um queso is pretty good too. But now that I'm retrying Chipotle's, mm, I don't know. I don't, th I don't think Del Taco is better. They're both good. But Chipotle is probably still a little bit better. <laughs> Maybe I had a bad batch the last time I had tried Chipotle's queso. Mm, 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 mm. Vinaigrette, though. Mm. With some red chili sauce, hot sauce. Some queso. Woo-wee! Come on. I got white rice, black beans, extra corn, extra cheese, veggies, um, chicken. Mm, mm, mm. Light lettuce. Mm. 
Mugwort. Delicious. Look at this vinaigrette on my chip. Mmm. That vinaigrette. Just. Mmm. It just hits differently. Like. I need that recipe stat. Mmm. Yo, I ordered two of these mugs. Because I like them a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. on my In my bowl and on my chips. What the heck? Please don't tell me that's a piece of chicken in my kessel. Hold up. That is a piece of chicken in my kessel, I think. I don't know what it is, so I'm going to throw it out. It's chicken, but why is it in my kessel, though? I'm going to write a letter. I'm just kidding. But seriously. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. She was not very sanitary either. I was watching her pack every order. On um, some of the orders, I seen her. Grab stickers, put them on the bags, touch the screen with her same gloves, and then she went over to the chips, grabbed the chips with her her gloves that she was doing all, all that other stuff, and put the chips in the bag. I was like, oh, if she gives me that bag, I'm telling you something. But I, then after that, she changed her gloves. All right. Oh no, honey, can't be doing all that. Mm mm. Like, no. It's tough contamination. It defeats the purpose of you wearing a glove. Honestly. If you're just gonna go and touch the surface <coughs> and, um, don't touch the food. Makes no sense. I never understood fast food workers that do that. I worked in fast food before. Uh -uh. Hell no. I stayed washing my hands. I will not cross-contaminate. Cr cr mm -mm. One time I went to Wingstop on my lunch break at work. And I got so grossed out. Cause it was just oh boy on the register taking our order <clears throat> took all of our orders I had ordered wings and fries <clears throat> so he took all our money he didn't have no gloves on okay took all our money and then proceeded to turn around cause it was like the register and then turned around and it was the the food area to prepare it. Turns around, grabs my fries with his bare hands. Didn't wash them, mind you. I'm telling you, the register was right here, and then the area to make the food was right behind him. Turns around, grabs a handful of fries, puts them in the fryer. Uh, oh, excuse me. And I'm like. Oh, hell, hell no. Hell no, dog. You about to stop right there. <laughs> you about to stop right right there. And I was like, um, excuse me. Right? <laughs> I said, excuse me. I'm going to need my money back right now. Okay? Because... <laughs> my germs <laughs> I was like I know you did not just grab my money and dip your nasty hands in them fries he's like oh no 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 uh, no no uh, he started stuttering I was like no just, I, I just want my money back that's that's it I said I just seen you 
stick your ha dirty hands in those fries without washing your hands first. And you just handled all of our money. That's disgusting. He's like, oh, no, I didn't. I was like, boy, I just seen you. I was like, but it's okay. I just cancel my order and give me my money back, and that's it. So he did, after, like, trying to explain to me, as if I didn't just witness the nastiness happening before me. <laughs> I was like, I know this boy is not trying to bamboozle me. Boy, bye. Get your nasty butt. Mm -mm. And that happens everywhere. And most of the time, you're probably not going to witness it. And that's how people get sick. Salmonella, E. coli, like all kinds of food poisoning and stuff like that because people don't wash their hands. People handle money, people handle dirty surfaces. But they good, okay? <laughs> because we don't know. No. E. coli. E. coli. Um. It does taste good. Because, like, right now, it probably could have happened to me. And I don't even know it. Because I didn't see her do it to my order. I'm walking her like a hawk. Like, let me let me find now. She messed up. I'm gonna tell her something. <laughs> Besides, fix your face. Fix them hands, girl. Wash them hands. <clears throat> but you know, it always happens. Uh, we just don't realize it. Probably more than 99% of the time. <laughs> because something nasty could happen in the meantime while they were chopping up the lettuce, chopping up the onion. Like, so much things that you're, you wonder, you know? Or at least I do, like, man... I wonder if he dropped <clears throat> that lettuce and didn't rinse it and put it in my bowl. You know what I mean? Like, I've been thinking about stuff like that. Um, so many nasty people in this world that don't care. And they be doing some grimy stuff like that. Which is rude. Don't do that. I don't even really drink Coke. It messes up my stomach. But I was like, mm. let me see. Let me see what the Coke tastes like with my bowl. <laughs> it's hitting the spot, but that's a lot of, about 32 hours for free, cuz, and had a rewards for a free drink. I'm getting so full. But this is so good. Oh, Charlie Murphy. Oh my god. I hope you guys this Christmas was amazing. Wonderful. I hope Everybody was able to spend it with at least somebody they love. Um, this year has been a total train wreck. Families are separated because of the C word and not cute. Definitely. 
broke a lot of rituals and routines or traditions for a lot of folks. A lot of people weren't able to see their family and friends and loved ones. Because of that nastiness going around. I was so full. <laughs> and now I'm acting silly. Um, I just got... I went to Costco right now. I, I was running some errands. Into a post office. Um, oh, I need to scan my receipt. I went to the post office. Dropped off some packages. Ooh, sorry, I have to burp. Hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then I went to um, uh, post office. I went to CVS. Got some great, great deals for. I love to coupon you guys. Um, I got two scratchers. <clears throat> one first, I got, I got one. First, I got one scratcher, and I got um the five dollar scratcher, and I won fifteen dollars on it. I sat in my car and scratched it, and then I went back. And I was like, I'm gonna get another one. I had my eyes on it. As soon as I got that five dollar one, I was like, "Oh, I want this one," because it's holographic, <laughs> and I love holographic stuff. It really catches my eye, and I was like, "Dang!" But it's twenty bucks, so. So as I'm sitting in my car, scratching my chicken, I was like, "Man, if I win something, I'm gonna go back in there and grab that twenty dollar one." And so that, <clears throat> since I won those 15 bucks, I was like, heck yeah. And go back in there. And I go to the machine again. I still haven't turned, um, cashed in my ticket. I go straight to the machine and I grab that $20 one. I go back in my car and I sit there. I don't know. Scratching that pretty ticket. Well, I come on. Big money, big money. <laughs> so I'm scratching it. And I'm like, I uncover a 20, I'm, uh, a 10, and I'm like, heck yeah. I mean, that's half of my ticket that I spent, you know? $10, $10 is a win for me. So it's cool. And so. I keep scratching. Boom. $20. I was like, hell yeah. That's 30 bones right there. And I'm still scratching. And boom. Another 10 So I got $40 from that one. And 15 from the first one. Total $55. So I go back in the store and I cash out. I'm like, heck yeah. That's it. Like, I don't like to gamble. I'm like, if I got if I got some sort of earnings, I'm good. Like, I'm cashing out. So I cash out. I'm like, all right, I got to get my... Because any stream of income, anything. Money I receive, my, my job income, 401k that I cash out you know, sales that I make from the gold is water, any type of stream of income, anything, anything that I sell from my website, anything, The my priority is to get my tithes out of that money. It's like, that money is not mine, 10%, not mine, it belongs to my Lord, okay? And I was like, all right, let me cash out, let me get my tithes from there. And the rest is for whatever I need. So I went to Costco and I grabbed some stuff that I needed. So, thank you, Jesus. Okay. But. I 
I'm a firm believer in tithing into the kingdom of God. That's just me. Um, took me a while. I've been tithing for a while now, but before, when I was in and out of church, it took me a while to really <clears throat> sacrifice those 10% of all my income, because 10% out of a large sum equates to a large tithe, right? And so I would think before, like, sorry that I, I'm getting into this topic, but, you know, just going with the flow, but <clears throat> before I would be like, dang, but if I, if I get 10% off of this certain amount, right, X amount, that's like half my rent money or Whatever the case may be, that's like my my light bill, or that's my car note, or my insurance that I'm gonna be short on, you know. <clears throat> like that's what that was my thought process. Like if I get ten percent out of my check, it's gonna come in real short for my bill. So I I rather I better not. I'm just gonna give like a couple dollars. That was my thought process process before. I was obedient to, you know, tithing, and I felt like I was never, like, I always needed more and more, you know, because I felt like my thoughts were just not who they were supposed to be, as far as excuse me, tithing into the kingdom, right? And <clears throat> when I decided to really grab my 10% from all my stream of income, anywhere that it comes from, anywhere, it doesn't matter. When I decided to firmly be obedient to the Lord and just tithe, and that's when I started to see me reap the benefits of what I sowed, you know? And it's just become part of my life now, like. And I'm a cheerful giver now, like. I look forward to grabbing that 10% out of my income. You know, and tithing. And I'm just sharing this with you guys because... I don't know. I felt it in my heart to share with you guys. Not to boast or anything like that, but because... I don't need to tell nobody my business. I really don't. I don't tell nobody... Well, yeah... This is how much I give to my church, and this is, no, I do not talk figures with nobody about what I tithe or what I get, what, you know, it's not between me and God, I don't need to be, t I don't need to be telling nobody, you know, <clears throat> but, not a lot of people are, are too fond of tithing or offering. That's not my business. That's between you and God. But that's what I do, and I'm happy doing it. And God has blessed me along the way. And I will continue to do it until I am no longer breathing. You know? Mm. The balsamic, though. I am so full. I got the itis. 
I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Whew, it is 721. Holy moly. 716. Is my car still on? It is. Oh my god. 30 minutes my car's been on. Alright, you guys. I gotta go. I gotta go unload this car with my Costco stuff. Put away some laundry. Put away a bunch of stuff that's in my room. So, I got the ideas. I wanna go to bed. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!